How's it going? This is your host Hunter and welcome back to some ARK. Um, so we are going to actually do both of the water caves today. Um, we're going to be doing the one closest to my house, uh, which is going to be the one right down here. Um, that's going to be the, what is it, north, south, east, west? The western um, water cave. Hopefully I can find the entrance because I can honestly never find the entrance. This game is insanely loud right now, um, but I mean it's fine. Um, but we're going to do this one, and then we're also going to do the other one that is on the, uh, what is it, north, south, east? Yes, the east. Um, and that'll put us a little bit closer to finishing um, the island and then moving on to Scorched. I have ran out of stamina. So let me see if I can find the cave. Okay, looks like I have finally found the cave. Only took me like a few minutes. Um, it's going to be the entrance right here. I am using a basilo. Uh, it's an ex-basilo. Um basically high stat possible um all the dinos in here are pretty high stat um doesn't really matter anymore because i mean arc ascended is out or arc ascension or whatever and we're gonna moving on to that one i just want to do the caves on this one and uh, all the boss fights so we can kind of get that done because uh, it's been a goal of mine for a while and uh then you know we'll go from there so i'm not really gonna try to stop for any drops or try to like do anything crazy or anything like that i'm just gonna go straight into the actual area where the uh uh what's that thing called uh is that the artifact grab it and then go to the next cave um i am going to stop and grab any drops that i do see just in case but i mean if i don't see it i'm not gonna go out of my way to try to look for it i think the cave area is over on this side i hope there are actual dino sets. What's that noise? What was that behind me? It's a few megalodons, but I hope that there's actually a good amount of spawns in here and it's not just like one of those times where you go into a cave and there's nothing in here. Because um, who wants to watch that, you know? Nobody wants to watch that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm at the top. Those megalons are still megalodons. Not megalons. Megalon is in Godzilla. Uh, I think this is the right way. Uh, pretty sure this is the right way. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain. I think we're going to be reaching the end over here pretty soon, which, I mean, kind of sucks because there was really no interaction with any dinos, but sometimes the maps and the caves load like that where there's no, no dinosaurs or anything. I mean, there's just all these little stingrays and stuff that are coming out, but I'm expecting like mozas and squids and whales, alphas and all that good stuff. But I mean, I haven't really seen any of that. I've only seen like maybe two or three things here. Oh, I'm tired. I'm going to die. Um, so they're coming after me and it's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Uh, it's a lot of sharks. It's actually not that many sharks. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and spam right trigger right her. Uh, I don't know why those ones are not attacking. Now they are. And now they're dead. And come on. Get in front of me. Get in my mouth. That is loud. Oh my goodness. That was like distorting my headset right now. All right. So drop is actually going to be right here. So... Depending on how fast I... Oh, no. This is why I love the Basilos, because them motherfuckers can't do shit. But depending on how fast I get this done, I mean, it's only been, what, like six minutes and I've already finished this cave. Um, like I said, it sucks because... What is that? Is that a saber tooth? Yeah, it is a saber tooth. Uh, it sucks because, I mean, these caves are great, but sometimes nothing spawns. So it just makes it a lot... Okay, can we stop draining? Uh, I'm gonna try to grab that. Hopefully I don't die. Uh, cool. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's see. I'm actually gonna explore this cave a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here. I mean, should I really explore? I mean, there's nothing here. I've already grabbed the drop. Drop came back, but... Um, yeah, we'll explore it. Uh, let's see. Alright, come on, blue. 
Get out of my way. Uh, why am I stuck? Are those tire tracks? What the fuck is that? That's some interesting lighting. Um, there is absolutely nothing here. This cave is completely empty. Um... There's literally nothing here. I can go the other way. That uh, was kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a little uh, thingy right here. And that's basically it, I think. Unless there is something else over here. This place is usually riddled with spiders and scorpions and all that stuff, but not today. Uh, this takes us back to one of the other areas, but there's really nothing here. Is that another artifact? No. Not an artifact, but a little thing, but whatever. Let's go. Let's go to the cave. Alright, so apparently the next cave should be right off the coast of this area and right down here. So, I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be in between those giant leaves rather. Um, but I'm hoping because I really don't want to spend a lot of time trying to find this cave. I forgot if it's this one or the other one where I have a really hard time trying to find. But I have a feeling it might be this one. No, never mind, I found it. That was easy. There's some pleasies after us, but that's fine. Alright, so hopefully this cave does have a good amount of spawns in here. Um, hopefully it's not like the other one where... Oh, well, I see a Megalodon already. So let's run on in and see what happens. So I see another one. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, this one's good. This one's full. So that's at least good. At least we'll have some fighting going on. What a fuck them all up. Alright, alright, we're gonna keep going, keep going. Keep going. Got some piranhas after us, we're gonna keep going. That's a lot of shit after me. There's some fucking eels. Alright, let's see. I kind of want to turn around, but I'm going to get stuck and I'm going to get fucked up horribly. I already know it with that big ass line right there. All right. Hopefully I don't disconnect right now or lag out or anything. Just knowing this game, I already know that's bound to happen at some point. Um, I am doing like no damage to nothing and I am probably going to die. Oh my goodness. This was not a good idea. These are all high level. I forgot about that. They're all over like level whatever. I mean, I have a good saddle, but still, like, this is a little terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Just keep looking up and hitting, just keep looking up and hitting. Our health isn't even dropping, That's, we're good, we're good, we're still doing good. I'm okay, we're okay, we're all okay. Uh, I'm doing damage, I just don't know what I'm hitting. I'm hitting stuff, I just don't know what it is. Okay, now everything's starting to die, so that's good. This is such a clusterfuck of all these animals. Okay, no, we're almost there. We're almost there. We are almost there. My goodness, that's a lot. I'm so glad I have all OP crap. Because if not, this would have been a lot harder. But they're all dead for the most part. Now it's just these little stragglers. This is one thing that I hate about, like, water dinos is that it's really hard to try to hit because of its turn radius. Like, it's just ridiculous. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here and let it come to me. So, okay. Alright, everything is dead. I didn't even drop that much health. I don't need any of that. I'm gonna kill these guys. I forgot I do reduce damage to these guys. And then they're gonna die. This Megalodon, Megalon, Megalodon, Megalodon is gonna die. I don't know why I keep thinking of Godzilla stuff. Um, there's a drop under us, but I'm not gonna grab it. Some of those spoiler, blah, 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 blah. Poison scorpion things. There is a squid. Can it grab me? Can it grab a basilo? That is my question. Uh, we'll never find out, because I killed it. But there were some black pearls on there, and I kind of want to get those. So I'm gonna need these. Tentacles too, I'm also gonna need those. Eight tentacles, that's good enough. I don't know how many I have, I think I have a good amount though, but just in case I don't have any, I'm gonna still try to pick them up, because I'm gonna need them for one of the boss fights. Uh, let's see. All in all, I think after this one, 
I just have three more caves to do. If I do one more cave on this one, oh, there's another squid. Um, can it grab me? Well, well, once again, we'll never find out. Um, if I do one more cave, my stamina is getting drained. Something's attacking me. Um, yeah, one more cave. If I do the swamp cave right now, um, I actually want to explore a little bit, so. If I do the Swamp Cave right now, that means that I'll just have both of the Ice Caves. One is super short and is going to take a few minutes. Um, granted, I don't fall off and die. Um, but it's going to be super short, only going to take a few minutes. The other one's going to take a little bit longer because it's a much longer path. But again, with the OP Dinos that I have, it shouldn't be that much of an issue. So, I'm feeling that I should probably do the Swamp Cave. Because, I mean, I know how to navigate the Swamp Cave. It's not that hard to actually get in there. I think I just need a gas mask and an oxygen tank. I think we'll look a Moza and a squid. Um, but I think I just need those two and then I should be fine. So I'm going to try to see if um, I can go in there. I think I have my frog ready. Pretty sure. I oh, another Moza. Pretty sure I have my frog, um, so I'm gonna check that. Thank you, you fucking squid. Now I can't see shit, and now I am dying. I hear a bunch of noises, though, that's for sure. That's 100% for sure. Damn, I can't see shit. Can you get out of my way, please? Everything's dead. Killed the Moza, too. Damn. Oh, no, Moza's right there. Come here, Moza. <laughs> Come here, little Moza. Alright, Moza's dead. Moza, 260. Okay. On any regular official server, this cave is a nightmare. But it's uh it's why is nothing attacking? Um it's not as bad when you have OP dinos. And like a lot of these dinos you can essentially get OP um right off the bat. Oh that scared the shit out of me. Um but yeah, a lot of these dinos you can get OP um in the actual game itself. So the way it works is that I have maxed out health and maxed out, um, what's it called? Uh, melee. Now, because I have those two maxed out, that's going to be an issue. I already know it. Uh, because I have those two maxed out, um, oh, that's dead. That's fine, I guess. Uh, because I have those two maxed out, um, essentially the way it works is that, hold up. Um, damn, I can't fucking, I'm a fucking torta right now. Hold up. All right, I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, a lot of crap in there. Drop that. I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna leave this. Anywho, uh, the way it works is that because... What was I saying? I completely spaced the fuck out what I was saying. Uh, levels. Okay. The way it works is that you get a cap on, on your dino. So 450 is the max level that you can have on your dino um, before it just disappears from official. Um, now, because of that, you have to kind of pick and choose what stats you want to add on there exactly and stuff like that. After 20 levels or 20 mutations... Um, your dino has a smaller chance of getting another mutation. So I forget what the percentages are exactly, but you get X amount from the father side and X amount from the mother side. Now, when you have a dino that's capped out at 20 for one side, you now have only the chance from the other side as you're going through the mutations. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't still get a mutation from the the one that's capped out at 20 it just means that it's going to be a lot harder because the percentage is much lower so because of that um your dino essentially goes through way more eggs um and there's less of a chance to actually get a mutation on there um anyways enough about the mutation parts i can make a whole video afterwards but i'll do that on ascension though i won't do that on here 
there's no point in doing a video on this one um i'd rather just do it on ascension because it'll be on ascension um or ascended whatever it's called um but you know you would go through the motions of doing all that stuff and then once you get to that if you want to keep going you can but it's going to take a lot longer um when you get max stats on one um on one dino on one uh, like attribute level or whatever um is there anything here there is it's right here um once you get uh the, the 20 on one of them um like i said it becomes harder but you can keep going so the point that i'm trying to make is that you can essentially get to 255 i think 255 points on melee 255 points on stamina on whatever level you want and then that'll be 255 plus one because your dino always starts at level one so at max stats you would have what is it level 256 dino i think if you cap out the the melee or whatever and then everything else is at one you would you would essentially be at that so the way that works now is that if you're at 255, unfortunately, you won't be able to actually um, level up that point because it's it's maxed out. It's at 255. So what you always want to do is if you're going to be starting a line or anything like that, you always want to make sure that you are at an even number when it comes to, to the points. So let's say, for example, you tame a wild rex the rex is at 48 points into melee that's good because when you cap it out it'll cap out at 254 and then essentially you'll be able to add a bunch more levels on top of that whereas if you let's say for example get one that's at 49 melee or whatever then when you finish leveling it up all the way uh it'll max out at 255 or 253 depending on how far you get actually i don't think that'll actually make a difference but it'll cap out at 255 and then at that point you can't level it up because it's technically capped so even numbers what you want to land on um 254 is the max i think it's 254 i don't remember exactly but i'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it was um but it'll cap out at that and then essentially once it caps out at that that's that's it like you can't level it up that's why you want to try to keep it at one below uh, so you always want to try to land for even numbers whenever you're taming um, dinos. That way you make sure that you're going to be getting every single level possible. Um, now, do you have to start at a really high level, like tame? Like, do you have to find a Rex that's like level, like, let's say, for example, what's the word? <sighs> like 50, 58 melee or whatever like that's, that's a lot but 58 melee like do you have to find one like that like no you don't you can find one that's 38 36 whatever whatever the case is but that just means that you're gonna have to add more points into it in terms of mutations so you're gonna have to add more mutations to those and mutations are a pain in the ass especially in official so if you're gonna be playing official and doing mutations it's best to have a whole egg breeding sanctuary or having a lot of friends and stuff like that because unfortunately you have to wait the 24 hour or 30 something hour or whatever hour uh time limit for your dinos to be ready to actually lay more eggs or to mate um whereas if you're playing like on a modded server or single player or something you can literally do that just instantly and then get your bloodlines that you want to get going but if you're playing official it's going to be a long time so having the highest is always the best in official because it's going to be a lot less grinding um and it's just going to make your life easier um another thing you can do too is trade off with other people you know if you have a uh, really high health and someone else has really high melee trade off that way you guys can at least have the one the other person has and then combine them and then you'll have a pretty good dino so reasoning why these ones are really high level what is it like level 5 597 is that it has the 254 into health and then the 254 into melee and then the rest is kept normal and then i added like maybe one stat or two into the other ones and then everything either into health or into melee that's why they're pretty high on everything um are those official rates i don't think they are i think i boosted it a little bit i think i i think instead of it being like one uh like regular rates it was like one 1.2 or something like that like i added a little bit more just to make it a little bit more more fun i guess because i mean if you're constantly dying what's the point um but yeah that's essentially how you how you go through the motion of, of uh, 
getting pretty strong dinos. So the reasoning why behind you know, the reasoning why uh, these or the Basilo at least and basically all of them because they're all the same level um, is such high level is because again that whole thing of the melee stat and the health stat combined um, added to all to the level it's at right now. Um, I think it comes out to level 509 um, because it's what two. 250, 250, 256. If it's 256 and a 256, that's technically a 255. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. Kinda. That kind of makes sense. Essentially, it all evens out. It's the pure one of one, the pure one of the other one, and then the plus one because every dino starts with level one at some point um so it just combines and it adds all that so that's that's raising that that's how all that works all right so i'm actually gonna go ahead and cut it here um i was gonna do the swamp cave but um i mean if all i'm gonna be doing on the other one is gonna be ice cave and then the other one which is just walking around might as well just combine those two last caves together, uh, you know, the hard ones, and then just have one good video where we do that. And then after that, we can do the boss fights, and then we can do the Ascension Cave, and we shall be good. So, that's pretty much going to be it here. Um, we got three more artifacts to go, and that's going to be all in the next video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Perfect. Later!